Live. Live na po tayo, live na po. Standby na po ako. Okay, no Ted. Thank you, sir. Sound check, sound, sound.
Good morning po sa lahat. Ma'am. Ano po yung mga yung mga nag-in po na hindi po naka-deaf ed email, pwede pong gamitin po natin yung ating deaf ed email para hindi po malimit yung ating capacity sa 100 po. Thank you. Ma'am, deaf ed email o yung G Suite mail? Kahit saan po dun, sir. Paras po na G Suite po yun. Bago po tayo magsimula, congratulate ko lang po yung ating mga early bird sa uh, MAPE Department, si Sir Daniel Agrimano, and Science Department, Ma'am Derihe. Sila po yung mga early bird po natin. Bigyan po natin sila ng 1,000 na palakpak po. <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you po. Congrats, ma'am. Ayun po, at exactly 9 o'clock po, mag-i-start na po tayo. Sir Esto, standby na po. Okay, 64 pa lang po yung participants na nakapag-in. Remind ko lang po ulit yung mga nakain po dito na hindi po gamit ang kanilang dep and email. Baka hindi po makapasok ang iba kasi malilimit po yung ating capacity sa 100. Meron lang po tayong 250 capacity po.
Mamel? Po. Third na tayo. Okay po. Sir S.O. Unmute na Sir S.O. Sir S.O. Can I start na po? Yes po, sir. Okay, so good morning, teachers. Can you please mute yourselves? The Philippine education is now facing a new normal way of teaching and learning through different modalities that are diverse and convenient to all learning stakeholders. As the driving force of the system, we are expected to be advanced in providing quality education for all. With that, let me welcome you to today's G Suite for Education training for Akinoyan teachers. To officially start our program, a national anthem will be played to be followed by an invocation to be led by Ms. Rio Amor Viduya of the DLE Department. bow our heads and feel the presence of our Lord as we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Almighty and ever-loving God, we glorify and thank your name. Your infinite blessing would mean the success of this training. May we be a living witness of your genuine love through the enactment of the knowledge acquired through this activity. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Ma'am Viduya. At this juncture, we will be hearing words from our dynamic, ever-supportive, and loving principal. For his welcome remarks, let us call our principal to Mr. Manolo G. Peña. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Uh, so I hope you can all hear me clearly. Okay, so uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank everyone for taking, their, taking their, their busy schedules to join us today for the training workshop on G Suite education, for Education. Um, this is a very important uh, part of the new normal, as we call it, for this school year, because uh, these uh, applications will help us uh, navigate through uh, the learning modalities that we will be implementing this year. So, hindi ko pinagpapata, sabi ko kay Ma'am Joy and Ma'am Mel, teachers really need this training for uh, the G Suite uh, accounts. Uh, how many of you so far have tried navigating through the G Suite apps? 
Meron na ba? May I see your hands? Okay. So, well, I of you uh, have not yet tried. So, so, it's a very big challenge for both Joy and Mamel for both junior high school and senior high school because uh, you know, teachers really need this training. In fact, even some of the ICT coordinators um, hindi pa rin nila na-try itong uh, applications. But you know, uh, the, the good thing about the GSP applications is that most of the applications we already know. Uh, for example, the Google Docs, uh, Google Classroom, um, the Saving in Google Drive, we are all, uh, so most of you are already familiar with them. So we will uh, benchmark on those things that we already know. But uh, for new learnings for today, so I hope you would keep an open mind, uh, an open heart you know, to really listen attentively and forego what you are doing. I hope uh, even if your uh, camera are off, you are still with us. Uh, you are still uh, joining and listening attentively to the lectures of our speakers. Um, hindi po madali mag-conduct ng, uh, ng uh, online training workshop. It's been a big challenge for Ma'am Joy and Ma'am Mel. They've been telling me. Pero sabi ko, we've got to start. Kaya nagpapasalamat ako sa ating uh, dalawang uh, chief uh, ICT coordinators uh, for uh, elementary, Ma'am Joy, uh, for, for high school, I mean, Ma'am Joy, and for senior high school, Ma'am Mel, for taking the challenge of leading today's training workshop. By the way, you will receive uh, actually uh, different kinds of certificate uh, for this uh, morning, uh, for this day. Uh, one is a certificate of participation for those who will be able to complete the outputs. And for those who would not be able to submit, you, you will only receive a certificate of attendance. Okay, so make sure that you uh, all submit the needed outputs. Huwag kayo mag At uh, sabi ko, dalian lang para makahabol po kayo. <laughs> and then it's really up to the department uh, ICT coordinators and the uh, grade level ICT, to, uh, ICT coordinators to do follow-up training uh, in your respective departments and grade levels in the form of lock sessions. So um, utilize whatever technology that we have. Uh, if you have questions and you don't, you don't want to dis, uh, distract or disrupt the flow of the, the training, just type in your questions in the chat box. But be mindful that since we are live in YouTube, um, all your chats are also seen by everyone. So publicly. So pag medyo may biruan kayo, medyo keep it to yourselves sa chat. Okay? Just private message everyone. Okay? Kasi baka ma-misinterpret ng mga nakakabasa sa YouTube live. Okay? So since we are also uh, live in YouTube. Uh, because uh, some of you, mobile data lang daw po ang gamit. That's why we need to uh, actually uh, you know, utilize our YouTube channel for that. And uh, one good thing is that uh, natutuwa ako, um, especially for our faculty, all of you are very cooperative. All of you are you know, becoming techy and savvy, tech savvy. Uh, nakikita ko yung improvement sa paggamit ninyo ng technology and I'm very happy about that. Well, sabi nga, no, as we go along with so much practice, then mapaperfect na natin. Yes, the opening of classes have, have been uh, officially postponed to October 5. So that gives us more weeks and days no, to, uh, you know, to, to learn more about uh, these applications, particularly today, yung G Suite uh, applications uh, for education. So again, congratulations to Ma'am Joy Zonio and uh, Ma'am Melita Ihalas for coming up with this uh, initiative of having our training workshop on G Suite. I'll just be here. Uh, I'll be coming in and coming out to check in the progress. Uh, I hope Mam Joy and Mam Mel also had their uh, evaluation link at the end of the training so that we would be able to take note of what are the strengths and weaknesses of the training and then whatever suggestions you would like for further in, uh, enhancement or for further development, uh, we can take note of it. Um, the, the length of this training will depend on your performance. So. Kapag nakita nila Ma'am Joy at Ma'am Mel, kulang pa. 
there might be another you know training uh, for for this kind of uh, applications okay but pag nakita naman nila na okay na okay na kayo at uh, 100% you were able to submit with flying colors and in your mga output then this might be the first and the last day of the training okay so it's a big challenge for everyone i know it's a bit uh, you know uh, challenging uh, working uh, at your end Kung meron kayong mga coach, meron kayong mga anak dyan na mas teki sa inyo o kapatid na mas teki sa inyo, yun, tabi nyo na para tulungan kayo mag-navigate ng inyong mga G Suite applications. Okay? So, mas alam yata nila eh, no? kaysa sa atin ang ating mga training na ito. Okay, so uh, with that, thank you very much and God bless us all. Isang mapagpalang malamig na umaga sa inyong uh, lahat. Thank you, sir, for your support to make this endeavor possible. And to give us the training purpose and objectives, let us call our Senior High School ICT Coordinator, Ms. Malrita B. Ejalas. Okay. Yes, po. Good morning po sa lahat. So, here are the purpose of the G Suite for Education. Next slide, Ma'am Joy. Ma'am Joy? Ma'am Joy? Mukhang naghang yung internet ni Ma'am. Nagkakape. <laughs> ayan na, ayan na. <laughs> ayan po. Okay. So first po, kaya po tayo merong G Suite for Education is that you can simply manage your classroom po, then manage your task and administer confidently your accounts, and also communicate with your students and other uh, people po na kasama po sa G Suite for Education. Yun lang po yung purpose ng ating G Suite for Education. Mamaya po, uh, ibibigay namin yung mas malawakang gamit po ng ating G Suite for Education. Thank you. Thank you, Ma'am Ihalas, for giving Sir us Simon po here, baka po na comprehensive po. and achievable Sir Simon. to remind us of the netiquettes that we ah, participants should always remember <laughs> for the entire doc, sorry, training. May we call our own junior high school ICT coordinator, Ms. Joy M. Sonio. Good morning po. So, ito po yung house rules. Bago tayo mag-start ng training. So, number one, be on time. So, so far po, halos lahat naman po nakapag-join bago tayo mag-start. And then, number two, dress appropriately. Yan. Para maset natin yung mood during our training. Number three, be aware of your background. So, clean background, avoid messy rooms, people walk in and out. This is to avoid distraction. And then, number four, set up your camera accordingly. Ayan, face your camera so that your face can be seen clearly. Number five, mute your microphone. Ayan, so when not talking, please uh, mute your microphone to avoid distraction, most especially dun sa mga speakers. And then number six, ayan, take down notes, most especially yung mga important details na i-discuss natin during our training. And number seven, share your thoughts. So kapag may mga ideas kayo or questions, pwede nyo pong i- message dun po sa chat box natin. And and then after po ng ating training, magkakaroon din naman po tayo ng open forum. And then number eight, at the end of this discussion, you will be expected to submit your output. So nabanggit na, na, na nga ni Sir kanina na after our training, meron kayong marireceive na certificate. So dapat meron tayong ma-produce na output para ma-receive nyo yung certificate nyo. So yun lamang po. Ngayon, magro-roll call tayo. So, kamusta naman po dyan yung mga taga-English department? Kompleto po ba tayo? Please have the department heads report, attendance. Yes. Sa English, Filipino. Yan. Math. Science. Okay. okay. Araling panlipunan. Sa English. Pagsalitay natin ang mga heads and uh, OICs. Sir, bin Sige po, sa English po na tayo, English. Okay, ma'am Dana. 
Good morning po everyone. English po complete except Mom Espiritu which is on her official maternity leave po. Good morning. <coughs> Thank you, English. Pamute po. Next po, Filipino. Good morning, sir. Complete po kami. Maliban yung, di ba kasi, nawawala-wala kasi data lang po yung gamit. Thank you. Okay, next po is Matt. Sir Mata. Nakamute ka po, sir. Complete po. Ayan, thank you po. Sa science po. Sir, Rick. Hello po. Complete po kami, pero may mga palabas-labas din po. Then, sa MAPE department po. Mapidip. Sabi ma'am, ano, almost complete. Tuwala-wala lang din yung iba. Gawa ng data. Okay po, thank you po. Sa alaling panipunan. Ma'am Raquel. Okay, for those who are uh, good inter internet connection, make sure na mag-chat, mag-log uh, in at the chat box, please. Good morning po sa lahat. May mga kasama po po ako sa department na hindi pa po nakakapag-in. Siguro po nahihirapan pong makapasok. Thank you po sa each department po. H E Ma'am Lourdes. Wala po si Ma'am Lourdes. Hi, Ma'am. Hi, Ma'am Choi. Good morning po. Okay po kami, Ma'am. Complete po ang HR Department. Thank you. Sa TLD Department po. Ayan. Sa amin po, uh, yung iba po wala po kasi hindi siguro makain din po. And then last is, ay... ESP pa pala. Sorry. ESP. Present po, ma'am. Present po. Ma'am Aranja. Wala po si ma'am Aranja. Kompleto naman po ata ang ESP. Except kay ma'am Aranja. Anyone from then, you? Then, sa senior high department po, Senior High po. Hello, good morning. Hello po. Hello. Yes po ma'am. Uh, good morning po sa inyo lahat. Uh, may mga teachers na po from Senior High na nakain pero yung iba po hindi pa yata rin makain. Maya maya po. Thank you. Thank you po. So far po, lahat po nung nakajoin dito sa ating, ano, sa Google Meet, 97 na po yung teacher. So, thank you po sa mga nag-join. And so, we're going to start now with our uh, training. Okay, just a quick word. The heads at OICs kindly take note of the exact attendance and the time in time. Thank you, Ma'am Sonia, for reminding us, and thank you also, Sir Peña, for checking the attendance. At this point, we will be giving you a five-minute bladder break before we start our intensive G Suite training for today. Si mga gusto pong umihi, pwede pong umihi. So, uminom ng tubig. Sige po, bago po tayo magsimula. Okay, huwag na po mag-log out ha, para hindi na ko mag-disrupt yung connection.
Hermio, pamute po. Ayan po, standby na po tayo. So yung iba po na napuputol, naka nag-view po sila ngayon sa YouTube. Same din po sa Filipino Department, meron din po nila kay YouTube lang. Kasi namamatay-matay sila. Ah, nawawala-wala sila dahil dito sa internet connection nila. Thank okay. You. Okay po. Nakalote naman po sa attendance namin. Thank you po. Thank you po. Mamel, it's already 9.25. Ready na po. Welcome back, teachers. We are very happy today to have two competent teacher speakers in the field of ICT. Our first speaker is one of the sources of the is one of the sources of happiness of the senior high school department. One of the techie teachers of Aquino High School, the beauty and brain, and the pride of the senior high school department. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome 
our Senior High School ICT Coordinator, Ms. Melrita B. Ihalas. Okay, thank you po, sir. Na overwhelmed naman ako dun sa, ano, sa introduction po. Okay, maraming salamat po. Now, let's have the G Suite for Education. So, what is G Suite for Education all about? Next slide po, Ma'am Joy. Okay. So, we have G Suite for Education is a suite of tools that can help you increase opportunities for critical thinking, collaboration, creativity, and communication, all while supporting the learning objectives that you have for your students. So G Suite for Education is also a suite of free Google tools and services that are tailored for schools and home schools. It is available globally to all educational institutions that qualify. So, si DepEd po ay nag-qualify po dito sa ating G Suite for Education. Next slide, please. With G Suite Basic Education, each user gets 30 gigabyte storage to use for Google Drive, Gmail, Go, uh, and Google Photos. As a G Suite administrator, you can let users buy more storage. Pero meron po tayong personal G Suite accounts, yung domain po niya ay at gmail.com. So meron lang po siyang 15 gigabyte storage per user or per account. So since it is a web-based and app-based software, we can access this online. And here are some of the Google applications that we can use. If you want to have an add-ons, you can go to the marketplace of Google and install the software. So, meron po tayo Google Sheets, Google Calendar, Drive, Google Forms, Google Docs, Google Hangouts, Gmail, and Google Slides. So, yun lang po yung ilan sa mga applications na nagagamit natin usually. Pero kung meron po kayong kailangan na software na gagamitin niyo po para sa klase niyo po, sabihin niyo lang po sa amin ni Ma'am jo uh, Joy para marelay po namin sa aming super admin. Kasi po yung mga applications po na yun ay yung iba ay hindi po naka-whitelisted kaya hindi po siya available for installation. Next slide please. So again, G Suite for Education is a web-based and app-based software. So these applications are free, including our G Suite account. So meron po tayong dalawang G Suite accounts. Yung domain po ay yung at deped.gov.ph and then yung isa na bago, yung at pccahs.manila.edu.ph So yung at deped.gov.ph po natin, ang nag administer po niyan ay yung ating division po. So, just in case na nakalimutan niyo po yung password po niyan, hindi po kami ang magre-reset po niyan sa division office po. Kasi, para napansin ko po, kapag ka nakalimutan yung at deped.gov.ph kay Ma'am Zonio or sa akin po nire-relay. So, meron po sa ating depedmanila.net na website Meron po doon na online services, i-click nyo lang po yun, and then hanapin nyo po doon yung uh, para sa pagpapareset ng password, pag magre-request po kayo. So may mga ano lang po doon, kailangan, you need to upload your ID na kasama po kayo. So parang selfie po, kasama ang ID. Then yung at pccahs.manila.edu.ph, binigyan po tayo niyan para din po mabigyan yung ating mga students. So, ang nag-administer or nagmamanage po nito, meron po tayong super admin and then meron din pong uh, school admin. So, just in case na makalimutan po ni student yung kanyang password or ni teacher yung kanyang password, pwede po kami mag-reset. Yung at deped.gov.ph lang po ang hindi po kami pwede mag-reset. So, sana po malina po yun. Pagka nakalimutan po ang password ng at 
uh, at PCCAHS, that manila.edu.ph, pwede niyo pong i-request sa amin to reset the password. Pero sana po, hindi po every week magpapareset kasi ang dami po ng account na hawak po namin ni Ma'am Zonyo. So, ano din po yun sa time. Next slide, please. Okay. Sa ating G Suite for Education, bumili po si DepEd Manila at nakaalat po sa bawat schools ng DepEd Manila ay 10,000 users. So sa school po natin, meron po tayong almost 4,000 users. So kapag uh, graduate na po yung mga students natin or umalis sa school natin, tatanggalin po namin sila sa uh, users or sa organization na hawak po namin para hindi po Uh, mapuno yung 10,000 users. So, because of that, meron po tayong unlimited storage. Unlimited po siya kasi pasok po siya sa qualification. Kaya, kaya po pinapagamit talaga sa atin yung ating G Suite uh, accounts. So, gamitin niyo po yun. So, these are some of the Google Apps na meron po sa ating G Suite for Education accounts. So, usually po, nakikita rin po natin yan sa ating personal accounts. Yan po yung Drive, Google Classroom, Gmail, Calendar, uh, Docs, Sheets, Slides, and Forms. Pero sabi ko nga po, kung gusto niyo po ng additional na applications, pwede po kayong pumunta doon sa Marketplace ni Google. And then, check niyo po yung mga kailangan niyo po sa inyong klase. Uh, let, let's say, for example, yung plagiarism checker, mga ganun po. Pero, kapag ka hindi po siya naka-whitelisted, ibig sabihin po, hindi po siya available for installation. Kung gusto niyo po yung mga applications na kailangan niyo po, pwede niyo pong i-relay sa amin kay Ma'am Zonyo para din po masabi rin po namin sa aming super admin para ma-approve po yung installation. So, ganun na lang po. Next slide, please. So, transform how your school works with our suite of free, secure tools. First, you can collaborate anywhere with this Google Docs, Slides, Sheets, Drive, and Jamboard. Dahil pwede niyo po siya ma-access kahit saan hanggat naka-online po kayo. Pwede niyo po siya ma-access sa mobile phones, sa tablets, sa laptop, and desktop. Pwede rin po kayo mag-edit ng output ng iba, ng ibang user po, as long as it is being shared to you and it is set as you are an editor. So, mamaya po, meron pong collaboration. Next slide, please. You can also communicate with and connect with other people. Okay, sa mga students po natin using our Gmail, uh, Google Meet, and Google Hangouts. So, yun po yung pwede na, kagaya po ng ginagamit natin ngayon, yung Google Meet. Next slide, please. By the way po, sa Google Meet, using our G Suite for Education accounts. So, sa Google Meet, meron po tayong 250 na capacity po para mag-meet sa Google Meet. So, pag personal account po ang gamit, meron lang po tayong 100 uh, kaya, uh, ano po, capacity. Kaya po kanina, sinabi ko po na Uh, magla-log in or mag-check in po dito sa Google Meet, gamit po ang inyong G Suite for Education account kasi po baka malimit po ang ating capacity. So, ang iba po baka hindi po makapasok. Next, you can simply manage your classroom using Google Classroom. So, kung mag-online class na po kayo using Google Classroom, you can also create assignments, give quizzes, and save time grading the outputs of your students. Kasi before po, uh, I think that was year 2015. So, 2014, lumabas po yung uh, Google Classroom, kung hindi po ako nagkakamali. So, nagamit ko po siya 2015. Wala pa po yung ibang application si Google Classroom. Kaya nung nakita ko po siya ngayon, meron na po siyang... Meet, tapos yung grades. Dati po, ang nakalagay ay marks. Ngayon po ay grades sa ating G Suite for Education. Next slide, please. You may also use this Google Keep, Google Calendar, Notes, 
in building your to-do list. So, di ba, minsan meron pa tayong uh, pagka namimili tayo sa palengke, uh, ganun, kung ano yung mga bibilhin natin. So, meron po tayong nakalagay na to-do list or yung uh, gusto natin mag-set ng mga ipapagawa natin sa student, pwede pa natin ilagay sa to-do list. And setting up reminders and schedules para hindi po natin siya makalimutan. Next slide, please. You can also administer confidently since you can easily manage your classroom and your devices. And one thing it is safe and secure so you can scale it as needed since it is cloud-based. Uh, wag po kayong mag-worry kasi nga po secure siya dahil nga po siya ay cloud-based. Hindi po maahak yung kanya. Wala po siyang server dito. Naka-cloud-based po siya. Next slide, please. So, another thing for G Suite for Education. Next slide. So, it is a suite of tools designed to empower educators and students as they learn and innovate together. So, G Suite for Education is the same the same set of apps that you know and love using your personal Gmail accounts. So, it is completely free. Uh, easy for collaboration and can be used for can can be used on any devices. So ayan po nagagamit natin yan si Classroom, si Gmail, si Gmail po usual natin nagagamit, si Drive para po sa ating mga storage and other applications po. So hindi po lahat ng applications ay aming madi-discuss, gawa nga po ng limited lang po yung ating time. So, you can explore naman po if gusto niyo pong malaman po yung iba. Next slide, please. Next po. So, G Suite Education Tools. Ito po yung usual na ginagamit natin. Next slide. Okay. Meron po tayong iba't ibang G Suite accounts na hindi po natin alam kasi lagi po natin sinasabi ay Gmail account lang meron ako. Okay, pero ito, personal G Suite account. So, nilagay ko po dyan yung personal uh, Gmail ko po or personal G Suite account. Then, meron po tayo na at deped.gov.ph yun, yun po yung isang uh, G Suite account po, po natin. Meron po tayo na G Suite account for education din na ang domain ay at pccahs.manila.edu.ph Bali tatlo po ang naibigay sa atin ng DepEd. Yung isa ay at nc, uh, ncr dot kalimutan ko yung domain. Basta yung ginagamit natin sa Microsoft. Yun naman po ay para sa installation ng Microsoft po natin. Uh, office po. So, wag po tayong malito sa tatlong applications na iyon. Uh, meron pong G Suite for Education accounts ang ating students. So, malalaman po natin na ang gamit po nila ay yung school account or school G Suite account because of the domain at pccahs.manila.edu.ph. Okay, bakit po kaya binigyan ng G Suite account ang ating students? Kasi nga po, isa sa tinitignan na platform is yung Google Classroom. Siguro po, ayaw naman natin makakita ng Gmail na che 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 dat ganon ganon sa mga jejemon or something po. So, naisip po ni DepEd Manila na dapat makita natin, alam po natin agad na yun po yung ating student based po doon sa pangalan po ng account. So, kagaya po ng example ko po dyan, yung melrita.ihalas at pccahs.manila.edu.ph So once nakita po natin ang email na yan, alam po natin kung sino yung taong to. Kaya nga po sa mga drive na sinishare po namin, nakaset po talaga yung drive na i-link sa DepEd account para po hindi na po kami magbibigay ng permission to access kapag ka personal account niyo po ang gamit kasi malay ba po namin kung sino yung mga taong nag-access sa sa ano na yon sa file na yon so kaya po pinapagamit po talaga namin ang DepEd account so ayun po so what is the key difference between Gmail and G Suite this only lies in the resource ownership 
So, meron po tayong personal and educational account or enterprise. G Suite resources are owned by the enterprise who has the highest control over all accounts. Gmail resources are owned by individual users, yung ating personal account po, tayo pong nagmamayari nun. And the company is unable to manage the mailbox or resources of individual employees. Sa company po, ang namamanage lang po niya ay yung ating default password. Yung sa ating school G Suite account po, namamanage lang po namin yan yung default password. So, Pag nereset nyo na po yung password, nag-change password na po kayo niyan, hindi na po namin alam yung inyong, aka, yung inyong password. So, baka po kasi ang concern nyo, baka nakikita po namin yung laman ng inyong mailbox, nakikita po namin yung laman ng inyong storage, hindi po. As long as nag-reset po kayo or nag-change po kayo ng password, hindi na po namin yan uh, ma-access. Sa mga students po, ganun din po. hindi po namin yun na-access hanggat nag-change password po sila. Kaya po namin sinasabi na, kaya po doon sa settings ng inyong mga accounts po, pagka-log in nyo po, magpa-pop up agad po yung you have to change your password. Kasi naka-default po siya doon sa aming, sa aming um, accounts, sa admin accounts po namin. Para po, hindi nyo po makalimutan na mag-change password. And, Kasi nga po, ang ginagamit po namin, ang default password ng teachers, yung DepEd Manila 1, kaya po pinapabago po talaga namin yan kasi halos lahat po ng teachers or yung mga account po ng teachers sa Manila, ganun po yung password. So make sure po na nalagin nyo na po yung inyong mga accounts and nakapag-change password na po kayo. So, yung sinasabi ko po na kapag ka nakalimutan po ang password, basta ang kaya lang po namin i-reset na password ay yung sa school G Suite account. Hindi po namin hawak yung at deped.gov.ph. Kung nakalimutan po yun, pwede po kayong pumunta sa website ni depedmanila.net. Wala na po yung .com. .net na po siya. So, makikita niyo po doon, online services, pumunta lang po kayo doon, and then you can request uh, request for reset password. May mga sasagutan lang po kayo doon. So, kapag ka access niyo po yung online services, and you have to request password po, reset password, ilagay niyo po muna yung inyong personal account. Kasi po, uh, mami, pagkatapos po noon, ay hihingi ng DepEd account si... si DepEd Manila po bago po niya ma-reset yung inyong password. So, yan lamang po. Thank you. Hello, Sir Esto. Salamat po. Okay, Klaro po ba? Okay. Thank you, Ma'am Ihalas, for introducing different G Suite tools that are very useful and teacher-friendly to all of us. At this point, I think teachers are asking questions. They have inquiries and some clarifications. At this moment, may I invite any teacher who would like to ask a question to Ma'am Ihalas? Yes, po. Feel free to ask questions, po. Yes po, may clarification po. May tanong po ako, Ma'am Ihalas. Yes po, Ma'am Arsine. Doon po sa G Suite account, yes po. unlimited po siya. Apo. Doon po sa may Picasso uh, po yun, di ba? Wait lang po, nag-feedback po. Yung pikas po? Apo. Yung po, Ma'am, ano, uh, depe.gov.ph, unlimited din po ba, Ma'am? Yes po, kasama po yun sa G Suite for Education. Ah, oh, okay po. Enterprise. Thank you very much. Okay po. May meeting ako. Bali po, uh, kapag ka ang organization or company, meron lang pong apat na users. Ayun o. One terabyte lang po yung kanyang storage. So, since sa atin, sobrang dami po natin, ilang libo, naka-unlimited po yung ating storage. So, any questions po? So, both mama, po, ma'am, ma ma'am, 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 ma'am,
Basta okay, yung Christian okay, education. Ma'am, may tanong din po ako. Yes po, Ma'am Barilios. Ma'am, isang account lang po ba dapat ang gamitin natin doon? Uh, ito po, kapag mag-online class na po tayo gamit ang Google Classroom, dapat po ang gamitin natin ay yung School G Suite account po. Kasi hindi po makaka-access si student kapag ka naka, pagka gumamit po siya ng ibang account. So dapat G Suite to G Suite lang po siya sa Google Classroom. Okay, ma thank you ma'am. Ma ma yes thank po you. sir. Sir Apple. Okay, okay may tanong lang po ako. Uh, yes, may mga po. estudyante ako, pinag-login ko ng GCIT account nila, pero invalid yung LRN daw nila. Okay. Uh, LRN daw ang password nila, but the point yes. is, hindi raw nila yun mabuksan. And then okay. may mga GCIT account na sinent, na mali, mali yung spelling. Sabi ko, punta na lang sa ICT coordinator. Tinuro okay. nga ay si Ma'am Manggat. Kaya lang, paano kaya yun? Thank you. Kay Ma'am Manggat ba talaga ang tutuloy? O sa inyo po ni Ma'am Choi and kayo po, Ma'am Ma Yalas. Thank okay you. Po. Sige po. Uh, yun po, yun po yung isa sa mga nakita ko. Kasi nga po, sabi ko, Ma'am, pwede pong pahingi. Ka, sabi ko po kay Ma'am Dakanay, Ma'am, pwede pong pahingi ng uh, copy ng LESF para makita ko po yung spelling ng pangalan ng tamang LRN. Marami po ang nakita na mali po yung spelling kahit sila po ang sila po yung nag-type sa enrollment. Yung LRN po, umabot ng 13 digits. Dapat po ay 12 digits lang po yun. Tapos, yung iba naman ay 11 digits. So, kung ano po yung nakalagay sa LRN na nandun sa LESF, copy-paste lang po namin yon. Ngayon po, kapag ka nag-login po sila sa kanilang G Suite, syempre, yung ilalogin po nila ay yung tamang LRN. Kaya nag -e error po siya. Nag-i-invalid. -e so, pagka ganun po, pwede po nilang sabihin sa kanilang advisor. Tapos, si advisor magsasabi kay Ma'am Zonyo pag sa junior high school. Tapos, pag sa senior high school naman po, sa akin po. Para po, ah, makita okay. namin. Apo. Sorry, ma'am. Kay ma'am manggat ako na ah, ano, agad pinadedirect. Kakala ko kay ma'am manggat kasi sa grade uh -huh. 9, si ma'am manggat ang aming ICT core. Ah, sorry, ma'am manggat. So, kay ma'am Joy pala direct. Ah, okay, thank you, ver thank you for clarification. Thank you. Apo. Yes, po. Yes, po. Ma'am Mel, may tanong ma po ako. Yes, po, ma'am. Kasi po ma'am sa research, kailangan ko po yun ma'am play, plagiarism checker. Pwede po ba akong mag-request nun sa'yo? Uh, ilisan nyo na lang po yung mga applications po ma'am para mabanggit rin po namin sa aming super admin na kailangan po ninyo. Pero pa double check na lang din po yung applications dun sa ating G Suite. Okay po. Thank you ma'am. Yes John. Yes po sir Parayan. Uh, ano pala to, no, per account, per gadget. Kasi uh, at this time, at this moment, I am using three gadgets na eh. Kasi for my Gmail, tapos sa DepEd, tapos yung, I will try also to log in do sa PICAS. So yes, per, per account, one gadget per account lang pala, no? Nakakapag-log in naman po ako sa ibang ano po, devices. Gamit po yung isang account. Hindi, kasi I'm using ano, laptop right now. Eh, naka-lock yun siya sa Gmail. Opo. Right sa DepEd, eh, may babalikan ako sa Gmail ko. Hindi ko siya ma, ano, mabuksan. Mm. Tama ba? Ito yung, ito yung ano sa akin. O pwede isang, kunyari sa laptop ko, makakapag-in ako sa... DepEd at DepEd tapos makakapag-login ako using my Gmail, my personal account. <clears throat> Bali po sir, isang account lang po, maraming devices? No, isang one gadget or device, uh, ano, multiple accounts, pwede ba yun? <laughs> yes po, pwede po sir, gamit lang po kayo ng uh, browsers, ibang browsers din po. Pwede rin po sa isang browser. Yun din po yung ginagawa ko po ngayon. Ah, okay. Yun lang hindi ko na-check. Sorry. Oh, sige, sige. Switch oh. account lang, sir. Switch account. Ah, sorry, sorry. Okay, sige po. 
Thank you. Sige po. So, okay na po? Sa so, chat, may mga questions. We are both live in YouTube and we have also questions here in our live chat and group chat here in Google Meet from Ma'am Helen Villanueva. She yes, has po. a question po. Sabi niya po, bali aside sa personal na Gmail account po namin, need pa din po na makapag-sign in kami sa 3G, 3G Suite account po. I think she's asking po, from, aside from her personal Gmail account, mm -hmm. if, she, if she still needs to register, babo ba to, o mag-sign in sa kanyang G Suite account? Okay, yung binigay po sa atin ni DepEd, pinapagamit po sa atin yan kasi po binili po yan ni DepEd. So, binigay po sa atin for free para magamit po natin. Si, yung domain na at PCCAHS, Gagamitin po natin siya sa ating Google Classroom para mag-meet po tayo doon sa ating G Suite accounts ng mga students. So, I hope na... question. Yes po, Sir Maynard. Ma'am, di ba uh, ginamit namin dati na, na Gmail namin yung personal namin account? Yes so, po. So, yung sa Google Drive natin, marami na tayong na-save doon. Yes po. Yung uh, worksheet. Pa paano okay. natin siya makoconvert ma dito sa ano? Malilipat dito sa bago nating account. Okay. Uh, mamaya po, explain po natin yan doon sa topic po natin na Google Drive po. Okay ma'am. Thank you. Thank you po. Okay. Thank you ma'am. Uh, some department... Ang yahalas, ma'am Joy. May ano lang ako. Yes po. Uh, sana ang... Um, kay uh, Si Ma'am Joy, for junior high school and senior high school ng kayo, makakuha kayo ng pinaka uh, legit na listahan for our student for the ano, tamang, tamang spelling and LRN ng mga bata. For ano, dun sa uh, tawag dito sa curriculum chairman ng maayos para maayos din ng mga bata. Thank you. para hindi may istorbo ah. Every time na papupuntahin namin yung bata sa inyo, ay mga kami lang ako aan. Thank you, ma'am. Sige po. Sa ngayon po, ano pa lang po tayo eh. Uh, meron po, nasa ano pa lang, parang unang upload pa lang po ng mga accounts. So, parang nagtatrial pa lang po kami. Pero yung mga ina-upload po namin ay yung mga officially enrolled. Yun nga lang po talaga, kung ano po yung and enroll na spelling student, yun po yung kinakapit-paste po namin. So, kaya, ang ginagawa po namin, nire-rename na lang po namin, and reset po yung password. Ganun na lang po, kapag ka nagbigay po ng tama. Thank you po, ma'am. Thank you po. Okay, thank you po, Sir Apple. Uh, ma'am, uh, department heads are, kasi naka-view naka din po ako sa YouTube, department heads are telling that some of their teachers are still not on live. So, but to tell you po, we are now 101 on Google Meet and we have 17 viewers on YouTube. So I hope po that other teachers, iba po natin kasamahan, will be able to still attend our training. Another concern, ma'am, from Ma'am Corazon Morales of yes, AP Department. Ma'am, nag-try po ako mag-G Suite last time, but laging humahanap si Domain. Laging hinahanap si Domain. Paano po yun? Paano laging hinahanap po ni si Domain? Uh, saan po siya nag-login, sir? Sa ano po ba? Sa Gmail? Ma'am Morales? Para maano pa natin? Baka mali lang po yung domain. So, yung domain po natin, ang usual po talaga, meron pong ano niyan sa account po natin. Usual po niyan, first name, dot, yung last name po natin. Then, at pccahs.manila.edu.ph Pag meron po kayong, tawag niyan yung junior the second, mga ganon. Kasama po yun doon sa pangalan, sa first name. So, lahat po yan ay naka-small letter po. Kahit na i-upload po namin yan, nakakapita lahat, yung babalik po na accounts ay naka-lowercase po siya lahat. Yan po. 
Okay, another question, ma'am, from our master teacher in the science department. Good morning po, ma'am Ihalas. Nakapag-create yes, so... na po ako ng Google Classroom using my Gmail account. Ako? Do I have to create again Google Classroom using my G Suite account or nakalink na silang dalawa? That is from ma'am Marlene Guran. Kailangan niyo pong mag-create sa inyong G Suite account po dahil po, Uh, yung binigay po natin kay students, hindi po lahat ng students natin meron na pong email, meron na pong accounts. Kaya po nagbigay si DepEd Manila ng free G Suite accounts po para hindi na po mahirapan si students gumawa ng kanilang sariling account. So, makaka-access po si student gamit po ang kanilang G Suite account basta po kayo po ay naka G Suite account rin po. So, ayun po. So definitely, ma'am, we cannot open our account without account with the students without using our own G Suite account. Apo, G Suite to G Suite po siya. Okay, ma'am. I think that's all for your topic, ma'am. And I know that everybody are very Thank excited to continue our discussion. So we, we will now proceed with our second speaker. Our second speaker graduated at TUP Manila year 2013 with a degree in industrial education, major in computer education. She is presently taking her master's degree in industrial technology, major in educational technology. She's been teaching for six years now, handling PLE and ICT subjects. Ladies and gentlemen, the teacher with a heart, and a faithful soul. Our own junior high school ICT coordinator, also a beauty and brain of the junior high school, no other than Miss Joy M. Sonio. Okay po, good morning po. And so, ngayon naman po, I will discuss yung mga procedures, how to access or log in your DepEd Manila G Suite account. So, ito po yung mga tanong nyo kanina para maklarify natin kung paano nga ba nila lagi ng mas maayos yung G Suite account natin. Ayan. So, ito yung G Suite account po natin, ha? Ayan. So, ito po yung procedures na gagawin natin. Para sa mga new user, I-type mo lang ang sa address bar ang gmail.com. Kung mapapansin mo, makikita niyo pa rin yung previous email na mga nakalag mo. Hanapin mo lang sa bandang gilid yung option na Add Another Account. At may bubukas na bagong tab. May option na date at hanapin mo lang yung Use Another Account. Sa bagong tab, i-type na lang yung G Suite account na i- Ma'am Joy? Ma'am Joy, I think naglalag po yung video. Ma'am Joy. Joy. Wait lang po. <laughs> Nabigat po kasi yung file. Nagahang yung laptop ko. Sorry po. Kung mapapansin nyo, makikita niyo pa rin yung previous email mo na nakalag mo. Hanapin nyo lang sa bandang gilid yung option na Add Another Account. At may bubukas na bagong tab. May option na dito at hanapin nyo lang yung Use Another Account. Sa bagong tab, i-type na lang yung G Suite Account na ibinigay sa inyo. Then click next. 
site niya naman, yung ibinigay na default password. Then, click next. At my welcome note sa para sa mga new user, click nyo lang yung accept button. After nun, i-record kayo magpagit ng bagong password. Ma'am Joy, nag-log po ang inyong video. Ayun. Ayun po yung ano, tamang process ng pagla paglalagin. Kasi this past few days, ang dami pong pictures na nagtatanong sa akin, bakit ganun, hindi malagin. So make sure po na dapat, uh, uh, ikiklik nyo yung use another account. Kasi sa sobrang dami nating email, talagang i-enter natin yung bago nating account. So yun po yung tamang way. Ngayon, yung susunod po is, Paano naman po tayo magpapalit ng password? If ever na, let's say, uh, hindi tayo comfortable dun sa dati nating password or gusto nating mag, ano, mag palit na for privacy talaga. So, ito po yung steps naman para sa pagpapalit ng password. Para naman sa pagpapalit ng bagong password, click nyo lang ng G-Suite button, hanapin yung option na manager, Google account, at may bubukas na bagong tab. Sa inyong book ay hanapin yung tab sa personal info. I-click nyo lang yung password option. At may lalabas na bagong tab, i-enter nyo yung recent password na para mag-verify na kayo ay magpapalit. Password. Then, click New. Sa bagong tab, i-type nyo na yung bagong password na gusto nyo yung gamitin. I-type nyo ulit yung bagong password para makonfirm yung password na inyong gagamitin. Then click Change Password. Ayan. So, successfully, napalitan nyo na po ang inyong password. Ayan po, yun naman po yung process ng pagpapalit ng password. So, punta tayo dun sa iba namang devices. Paano nga ba i-set up yung uh, G Suite account natin gamit yung mobile phone or tablet device? So, pwede rin nating ma-share sa mga estudyante natin once na nag-login sila para uh, mag mag makapagbigay kayo ng instruction. So, ito naman yung sa cellphone. Sa mobile phone naman po, ganoon din po ang process. Buksan nyo ang Gmail application at hanapin ang option na add another account. Then sign in. Yung ibinigay na bagong email or G Suite account. Then Click next. Enter nyo rin po yung default password. Gaya lang sa laptop or computer, ina-record din po kayo magpalit ng strong password. 
Type ulit yung password para makonfirm na yun ang password na ipinag mo. Then, may welcome note. Then, then, click mo yung agree button. Sa inyong Gmail, hanapin niyo yung account na nilagi inyo. Yun, ito na po yung bagong G Suite account. Password sa laptop sa sa mobile phone. Ganun din po. Hanapin niyo yung Manage account. Then, sa Manage or Google account, hanapin niyo po yung personal info tab. Then, click yung password. Ayan, para ma-verify na kayo, kailangan nyo i-enter ulit yung recent password nyo. Ayan po yung iba't ibang settings na district account sa mobile phone. Nikita nyo rin po dyan yung account storage. sa security. May kita kung kailan pinalitan yung password. Ayan po ang buo environment ng G Suite sa mobile phone. Ayun. Yan, so okay na po yung pagsisetup natin sa ibang devices. So yun lang po yung diniscuss yung procedure tungkol po sa uh, paglalagi na at pag-access ng Google or G Suite account natin. Sir Esto? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am Joy. For giving us the things that we need to know on how to properly utilize our own G Suite account. At this point, May I invite teachers to ask questions for Ma'am Joy? Anybody? Mag-start po tayo dito po sa aming GC from the English Department, Ma'am Vanessa Villarosa. Ang question niya po ay, yung bata na walang default password, or ang question po niya ay, allowed po ba ang bata na magpalit ng password? Ah, uh, yes po sir kasi po yung uh, tawag nito, yung binigay naming default password is LRN. Apo. So pag nag-enter po sila dun sa nag-enter na po sila dun sa G Suite accounts nila, uh, i -re require talaga silang mag-change ng password. So kung mapapansin niyo, like kung binabanggit yung strong password, pag sinabi nating strong password, combination po yun ng lower and upper case letters, special characters sa number para i-accept agad siya ni G Suite, uh, G Suite. Kasi yung kadalasan hindi agad tinatanggap pa, kapag normal lang na letter or number yung gagamitin yung password. Yes. Okay, sa thank you, ma'am. So, pwede po. Other teachers po? Siguro Hello po, po Sir S. Po. Yes, Sir Apo. Uh, ma'am Joy, magkakaroon ba kayo ng yes. special webinar for our student using the GC uh, GC account. Uh, titignan po natin sir kapag mamel. Yes okay, po. Kapag lalagay po yung sa pag-access ng GC. Pwede yes. naman po sir. Uh, Sino uh, po para extension na lang. For my ano lang recommendation for the hindi naman din lahat ng advisor ay maalam sa Gatch uh, sa Google account. Uh, yes, so. May I request to the office na sana mag-webinar din kayo for our student. 
kahit naman sa YouTube lang. Thank you. Thank you. Sana makapakinggan. Thank you po. Okay, thank you Sir Apple for your request. I think both Ma'am Ihalas and Ma'am Sonyo are very much willing to to uh, give trainings also for our students and parents. And, and of course, our principal is very supportive with that kind of endeavors. Siguro po, while waiting for the questions of other teachers, shout out lang po sa mga nagpapabate. Ang pinakamagandang guro ng English uh, department, Ma'am JM Cotanda. Napakahirap po talagang kumunek sa internet. Sabi nga po ni Sir Ryan J. Berie, pilit ko mang di bumitaw, pero wala akong magawa. Mahina ako. Globe home prepaid. I think converge is the answer to your question, sir. Or to your problem, Sir Berie. Other teachers po? May question pa po. Mga nahihiya pong magtanong dyan? I, I am also checking po sa YouTube, so wala pa lang pong questions. Ma'am, ako po may tanong ako, ma'am. Sige po, sir. Pag-umamit tayo ng G Suite account sa Google Classroom o ganitong platform, gano'ng kalaki po kaya yung gagamiting uh, internet ni teacher at ni student? Kasi alam naman po natin that in Baseco, one of our challenges is the technology and the internet connection of our students. Gano'n kalaki po kaya yung makukonsume ni student at ni teacher? Uh, usually, ang, ang malakas lang talagang mag-consume yung uh, video conferencing. Yun talaga yung pinaka, pinaka nagko-consume ng mas malakas na data sa atin. Pero yung mga pag-create lang ng uh, Google Docs, Forms, pagpapasa ng worksheets o pag nagpapasa yung mga data, hindi naman siya ganun, ganun mag-consume ng malaking data. Hanggat kasi merong graphics or nagpiplay na the anime, yun talaga yung talagang makakapag-consume ng mas mataas na ano eh, data connection, lalong-lalo na sa mga students natin. So hanggat maaari nga, di ba, sa schedule nga natin, nilimitahan lang yung video conferencing, more on worksheet, pagpapadala, or pag may message lang sa kanila yung gagawin natin para, ma, para hindi naman natin maubos yung data na ibibigay sa kanila monthly, di ba? Yun po. So, ma'am, ma'am Joy, according to you, limitahan ang tinatawag na video conferencing using this Google Classroom. Ano kaya ang pinakamabilisang platform para dyan malimitahan yung load ng bata? Kasi 10 gigabytes lang ang kailangan. So, lahat ng teacher gagamit niyan for subjects every week, ganon. So, ano pinakamabilisa na mga gawin ng teacher? maliban dito sa uh, Google ano na to Google uh, Gmail account natin. Thank you. Yung sa um, sa software uh, lang sa Juicy, pwede rin natin gamitin yung mga FB natin, Facebook. Kasi nga kahit naka ano lang sila data, as long na walang images yung mga ipapadala nating worksheet or paggawa sa bata, let's say messages lang. Hindi makakapag-consume ng mas malaking amount ng data yon. Okay, okay din yung Facebook. As long na makapag-communicate tayo sa mga bata, mapapagbibigay natin yung mga modules or worksheets na kailangan nila para makapag-comply doon sa requirements natin. Pwede naman natin gamitin yung iba ibang platform na sa atin lang talaga yung uh, strategy ko para natin i-utilize yung mga platform na yun. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ito. So, I think, sir, I need to answer this question from Ma'am Sally Angelis Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm about to say that, ma'am. Okay po. So, hindi po ba pwede na itong Facebook account na, na rin ang gamitin sa Microsoft? Kasi, di ba, nabanggit nyo na yung isang email yung may NCR para sa Microsoft 365. Okay, si yung domain na at ncr1.deped.gov.ph, ang may hawak po nun ay central office. So, bumili po ng account si Central Office for the installation of our Microsoft Office po. So, magkaiba po sila. Para lang po yun sa ating office accounts po. Sa so, iba po yung ating G Suite accounts. So, ayun po. Meron pa pong tanong. Pa po. May tanong pa po ba tayo for Ma'am Ihalas and Ma'am Sonyo? By the way, department heads and, I, and OICs, uh, check po ang ating attendance. Any questions pa po? So, 
I think wala na po siguro. No more questions po. Uh, I think that's all for both topics. Anyway, later we will be having demonstration for both uh, junior high school and senior high school, also from Ma'am Sonia and Ma'am Ihalas. So later, teachers, you will still be given time and opportunity to ask questions and inquiries regarding G Suite, uh, Google Classroom, and other technology uh, technology concerns. So for that, thank you, Ma'am Sonia and Ma'am Ihalas. I know thank that you, all of us are surprised with these advancements and with these trainings. So for that, we will be giving you time to eat your breakfast, your late breakfast, or your early lunch. So always remember to eat nutritious food. And don't forget to please rejoin our Zoom meeting before 1.30 p.m. for the continuation of the training. New link will be sent to our personal, to our group chat, and also to our FB group. Eat well, teachers, and please come back before 1.30 p.m. Any reminder, Ma'am Joy? Thank you, sir. Alas? Sir Esto, same, ano ba, same link ko mag mag-send ng panibagong link. Uh, Ma'am Sonia and Ma'am Ihalas, can you please answer the question of Sir Apple? So, magsisend na lang po ng bagong link. Uh, Apple, nandito pa po ba si Sir Peña po? Nasa school si Sir Peña eh. Okay. Ayan, wala na po si Sir dito. Ma'am Ihalas, sa updates na lang tayo mag-send na kasi halos ng teacher nandun lahat eh. Okay po. Thank you, ma'am. I think si, asa na si Ma'am Joy? Ma'am Joy? Nawala po si Ma'am Joy. Para yung mga yala, so. Ganda ng suot. Bongga. Good morning, ma'am. Blooming mga ma ganda ng suot. Hinihika po ako ngayon. <laughs> Pagaling ka, ma'am. Yes po. Thank you po. Wait lang po. May message po si Ma'am Joy. Yan, yeah, nawala po si Ma'am Joy. So... Mag-send na lang po ulit kami ng link mamaya. And I hope na makapag early breakfast and lunch po para ready po tayo sa ating demonstration mamaya. So, uh, I guess pagka nag-demonstration na po tayo, kahit isang department po or isang teacher sa bawat department po, magpapresent po ng kanilang output. Bukod po dun sa isa-submit. Okay. Anong output? Uh, mamaya po, sasabihin po namin. Ah, so, ipapasabihin nyo pa lang kasi saka kami mag-represent. Apo. Thank you, ma'am. Congratulations, ma'am Sonyo and ma'am Ihalas and good job, ma'am Sir Esto sa pagiging MC. Thank, thank you po, sir. Apple. Thank, uh -oh, you, thank, you. Thank, you po. thank you, ma'am Ihalas. Thank you po. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. All teachers are very excited with the outputs that we are about to finish later because this new platform is really interesting to all teachers and we are all very much excited to perform that output and again paul remember teachers reminder new link will be sent to our pcas updates group chat and also to our fb group so please keep yourself posted with the new link and please join 15 to 30 minutes before 1.30 so we can start early and we can end early. For later, we will be having another webinar on stress care management. So that's all, that's all for the first part of the training. See you again later, teachers, again before 1.30. Bye. Bye. Bye po. Bye, Mamel. Ma'am Joy, bye, bye, bye Thank you po sa inyo. Ma'am, 
ਕੋਈ ਤਾਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਤਾਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਕੋ ਸਿੰਮਨ ਕੋ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੋਣਾ ਹੈ ਤਾਲ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮਾਨ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਲੋਕ ਸਥਾਈ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਕੋ ਮਾਰੀ ਕੋ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਸਮਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਤਾਂ ਸਮਾਨ ਹੋ ਤਾਂ ਜਿਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਹੋ ਤਾਂ
Off ko po muna yung live po, pinap-off po muna mamaya na lang po. I-on ko na lang po ulit. <coughs> 